Let's start with magnesium ammonium phosphate, or MAP stones. These are the second most common form of renal stones in adults, following calcium stones, encompassing roughly 15% of cases. In this scene, MAP stones will be symbolized on the map held by this frontiers woman here, getting her bearings as she prepares to make her way back to the dig site. Don't do it. MAP stones are also called struvite or staghorn calculi. You see, these stones can get huge. As they accumulate, they can form a cast of the renal pelvis and calyces, forming a branching pattern that resembles the antlers of a stag. It's the most majestic of stones. These stones form almost always in the presence of an upper urinary tract infection with a urease-positive organism. At Sketchy, urease, the enzyme that splits urea into ammonium and carbon dioxide, is always represented by a spray bottle of ammonium cleaner this time being used to prep the panning equipment before setting off to the mother load. Yep, ammonium. It's the A in MAP. The P stands for phosphate. Normally, phosphate is highly soluble in the urine. However, once a urease-positive organism adds ammonium to the mix, the pH of the urine increases, which drastically reduces the solubility of phosphate. Remember, just think of that pH in phosphate. In this scene, we're going to depict a basic pH with these blue ammonium puddles. Later on, we'll contrast this side of the sketch with a more yellowy, acidic environment on the right. For now though, blue equals basic. The most common urease-positive culprits that cause upper UTI and trigger struvite stone formation are Proteus, Staph saprophyticus, and Klebsiella. Due to the increased incidence of UTI in women, it's not surprising that struvite stone formation is three times more common in women, which is why a frontiers woman is featured in this sketch. Some stones can grow rapidly over weeks to months, forming staghorn calculi so large that surgical removal is required. Antibiotics are also added to treat the underlying infection. Struvite stones are readily diagnosable by the signs and symptoms of a UTI, a urinalysis consistent with upper UTI, and the characteristic coffin lid or rectangular prism appearance of crystals on microscopy. Welp. Yep. Here comes another one. I call dibs on his pans. Oh, come on. He's dead. 